Um, so, talking about beauty routines and all that leads us very nicely onto our next session. Now, um, all of us on the REACH Inspiration team are pretty excited about this next session, and we hope you are too. It's called Be Brave, Dressing to Express the Unique You, and it's directed by our REACH Inspiration teammate, Nikki Jones. Now, Nikki, um, as some of you already know, is relatively new to REACH Derby, and it's been fantastic getting to know her over the course of 2020. Of course, that has been mostly via WhatsApp and Zoom due to the current cl climate, um, but we have had a chance to also meet up a few times as well, which has been fantastic, and it's been great getting to know her. Um, now, Nikki runs Look Chic Image Consultancy, and whilst I'm eager to see what she's going to do um, and what she's going to say, I'm also a little bit nervous, and that's because the rest of the team, so Sandra, Anna, and myself, are also going to be included in this session. Are you ready, ladies? Oh, oh. I think so. Um, <laughs> Now I'm going to hand over to Nikki, who's going to tell you what uh, Dressing to Express the Unique You is all about. So hello, and like Catherine has just told you, I'm Nikki, and you may well be thinking, well, who is she and what's Image Consultancy about, and how, could, how did she come to do that? And so I'll tell you a little bit about my, my background. So... I was a physiotherapist. I trained as a physio after my A-levels down in, in Birmingham, which is a great place to train. So, and I lived there for many years until moving up to Derby. So, and I specialised in respiratory care and then moved to Birmingham Children's Hospital, which was a fantastic place to work and worked on intensive care there and also on neonatal intensive care. So I loved my job, but felt it was the right time to hand it over to a new colleague. So I took early retirement, early, early, early retirement back in 2014. Of course, of course. And then I'd already by then trained as an image consultant through a place called First Impressions. And I became a, fed, a member of the Federation of Image Professionals International. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I launched my business called Look Chic. And um, so that's a little bit about me. And I'm going to put the title slide up. And this will tell you what my heart is for women. So I'll give you a moment to read that. And I have got a real heart for women to feel amazing about who they are at whatever age they are, whatever stage of life, and it's all about you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. All those bits of your bodies that you like, and of course, all those bits that you're not so keen on from time to time. But before we get going, I'm just going to say, I'm just saying that I'm not saying that you need to dress in animal skins and carry a sword to be brave. <laughs> You'll be glad to know. <laughs> so this session is aiming to be light-hearted. It's going to be a bit of fun, but also may well tell you something new about yourself or confirmed what your gut feeling is about yourself. So I have worked with many women women helping to increase their self-confidence by advising what shades of color really flatter their skin tone and which clothes and accessories best suit their unique body and face shape. And this is always factoring in their lifestyle, their age, and their budget. So it's not all about high-end dressing in any shape or form. And this is against a backdrop of what we call wardrobe personalities, of which they are five. There are five. So during this time, we'll be investigating together why we dress the way we do. Why you may be out shopping 
in a socially distanced way, of course, with a friend. <laughs> and she's there to advise you about perhaps an outfit for an occasion. Just, you're just generally going shopping together for a new top. I mean, you know, I've hardly been shopping since March. And so you're thinking, right, I'm out there, new pair of jeans, whatever. So she picks something up and she says, wow, this is amazing. Go and try it on. And you think, I'm not trying that on because that, it looks absolutely <laughs> hideous. How can I be kind to her? You know, this is hideous. I would not be seen wearing that. Or you say, oh, I just spotted the exact dress. And she's thinking, what? That dress? <laughs> so perhaps you're thinking, it's a bit frivolous to spend time considering what to wear. But as a Christian, I believe that it's actually honoring God who made us. He made these bodies. And he loves us. And he loves us for who we are now. Not how we were, once were. You know, if you're like me and you're getting, you're over a certain age you know I'm not like I was when I was 25 I mean I'd be thrilled if I was but I'm not so or what we will be but it's now that he loves us and he loves our unique bodies and just to reassure you it's not about perfect photoshop beauty but us as real women and when you've got to you know you look you look at those magazines and they are, they are photoshopped. You know, they are trimmed. Even the most, what we class as physically beautiful young models or celebrities, they are all photoshopped. They nip a bit here, mm. add a color there, take away a blemish. Yes. And I was really, I was really encouraged by um, a campaign by Loose Women some years ago. And they... I mean, you may look at them and think some of them, you know, have not, they would not have any body hang-ups. But they did um, a campaign, say, you can look, but you can't retouch. And there were photos of them all in their underwear. Mm -hmm. And they felt proud to be there. And um, Janet Street Porter said, you know, you know, she's the age that she is, but she's proud of her body. And they were brave enough to do that, mm. to stand up and say, well, this is, this is us, this is real, this is us as real women. Mm. So, and to lead on about our wardrobe personalities, I say, well, which, plus, which woman does not like to feel amazing? And I hope that this, these uh, slides and a bit of a chat will help you to see that you are amazing and you are loved. So we'll get going. So Coco Chanel, Apparently, um, Anna's a bit of a fan of hers, has some great pithy sayings. And here's one. Be who you are and not as the world wants you to be. So, I say, listen up, be brave, and see how you can express your uniqueness in your wardrobe personality. To be free, to be who you are. And just say you can be a combination of two. So I'll talk you through the slides that are coming up. And when you see the slides, they're all um, images of clothes and accessories that are available this season and uh, relate to obviously autumn, winter. But you don't have to like the individual items of clothing or accessories. It's just looking at the slide and getting the overall picture. So, George is going to pop that next slide on. And this is dramatic. So, dramatic woman likes to make a statement with her clothes. She's often self-assured. She's bold, sophisticated. Um, she likes striking colors and patterns and bold abstracts rather than florals. She would not be seen in what used to be termed in the 1980s, you know, a, a Laura Ashley dress. She would not be seen in that. She wants a striking haircut 
and statement clothes, jewelry, belts, shoes, etc. When she goes, when she walks into a room, she wants to turn heads. And she wants people to say, wow, that you're looking absolutely amazing. So she likes every opportunity to dress up. And some catwalk aspirations, not necessarily buy these, are Chanel, Bieber, Cookie, Monsoon, and some of Simply Be. So yeah, she likes every opportunity to dress up, and she will dress up. She has quite an eclectic wardrobe, so she may see something in a boutique, like it, get it, and then Marks and Spencer's might be way too boring, unless there's perhaps a limited collection or autograph, she might find something in there. But she definitely picks up items from different shops and doesn't perhaps have a favorite shop. She always wears makeup, always wears makeup, and would say, lip gloss, what on earth is that? So it's lipsticks. Um, if she suits the brighter colors, she'd like the brighter colors. And for her, dressing down is a challenge. So if you have a dress down, if you work in a, a place where there's a dress down day, then that is, that is a huge challenge because she does not want to dress down. She wants to be seen out there and make a statement. So the next, on our next slide, we will see our natural woman. Now, natural, she is the opposite end of the spectrum. So, and the, the images that you'll see on the slide really express what natural woman is all about. So she is often relaxed, um, has an easygoing approach to clothes, uh, but often is quite, likes the, perhaps likes the outdoors more, and is full of life and physical energy. But she would say that, that fashion, you know, is, is really a bit down her list. She wants comfort over, uh, always takes priority above looking chic, what she would perceive as doing that. Plain fabrics, perhaps not that bright a color. She wants room for movement. Um, natural fabrics, often, and something that she can just wash, and perhaps tumble dry or wash and hang and pop on. In her hairstyle, um, she wants the minimal amount of fuss. So perhaps a wash and go hairstyle. And her makeup is minimal if she wears it at all. So um, lip gloss may seem completely over the top to her. And um, so if she has to wear it, that is a huge challenge. And going to a formal event can be really stressful for her, getting the dress code right. So places like Marks and Spencers, Cotton Trainer, Traders, Land's End, um, and online shopping because she does not like going shopping. So I worked, when I was a physio, I worked with a, a couple um, well, three members of staff, one of whom was our manager, that was a natural, that who were naturals. And just to uh, give you a bit of an example, so yeah, our manager, she, she went and had advice, I mean, I offered her advice too, but she went and had, she had a personal shopper at Debenhams when she had to move out of uniform and, and dress in um, smart clothes. And definitely anything more than lips, uh, not, yeah, lip salve and lip gloss was completely over the top in the makeup department. Uh, another um, colleague, she was only the second person I've ever known to not wear makeup at her wedding. And she tried it, but it just was not her. And um, she used to come to work just like with her hair, twist it round in a bun and stick a pen into, into her hair. 
And her honeymoon, which would be my complete nightmare, was wild camping up in Scotland, on some island in Scotland. And she thought this was absolutely amazing. I wouldn't be having that. So <laughs> she, and then my other colleague, she didn't look in the mirror before she came to work. She just washed her hair, dried it, out the door, never looked in the mirror. <clears throat> so that is natural. So our next woman is Classic. Now Classic, she has a bit of an air of self-assurance, but she can be reserved and a bit conservative in her dressing. So she may spot a top that she likes, it really suits her, you know, great, great for her body shape, face shape, neckline, etc. And then she thinks, wow, I like that, so I'll get it in five other colors. She likes to mix and match. She has more of a, an elegance and style about her, more simple styles that don't date. She likes to blend shades and she definitely likes to wear some makeup, definitely. She, didn't, she wouldn't want to go out the door unless she's got mascara on, uh, or a bit of eyeliner, or a bit of blusher, or lipstick. Those are all important <laughs> to her. But she, at every occasion, she wants to be appropriately dressed. And she feels really uncomfortable if she believes she's got it wrong. So um, uh, I went to uh, maybe a bit of a clue as to what wardrobe personality I am, but I went to um, a 30th birthday year, years ago, years ago, but uh, with an old boyfriend. And, you know, it was in a hotel and it was in the days of like quite like sticking out skirts. And uh, so I thought hotel, 30th birthday, posh event. Didn't check really. So I had this really nice strapless velvet, like orange, orange, uh, <laughs> bigger hugging top with black buttons down and then like a sticking out black skirt, you know, Diamante jewelry, the lot. And um, got there <laughs> and then spent the next three hours trying to like be under my coat. Everybody else was in like leggings and um, t-shirts. <laughs> so I felt really, really uncomfortable. So classic woman thinks, you know, good grooming is essential. She wants to be coordinated and like a dramatic would think her style is boring. And um, a natural would think, oh, she's a little bit over the top. She likes quality clothes and fabric. So perhaps she likes stuff at M&S, Next, some Phase 8, Monsoon, and there's a company called Kettlewell Colors uh, online, and she really likes that. So our next slide is Gamine Woman, which comes from the French, apparently. And Gamine has often lots of energy and liveliness. She's youthful, she's got a youthful feel no matter what her age. So you see on the slide that I've included an older lady um, who is Gamine uh, being more mature. And Lulu is Gamine and she's older. She can have, um, if she's a pure Gamine, she might have quite a petite compact frame but this is not necessarily so, especially when in combination with another wardrobe personality. She's quite vivacious, perhaps determined, and got a sense of fun. <laughs> she likes clothes that fit well, a bit quirky, and a bit funky. Mm -hmm. she, likes, she might be a bit sporty, but she doesn't like clothes that a natural would wear because they're too loose, and she likes colour but she likes minimal makeup and minimal jewelry, but um, it's, it's well chosen to suit her personality. Handbags are a bit different, a little bit quirky, complementing her, her funkiness. So these sort of labels are quite gamine. And I've got a friend who, um, every time I see her, I say, oh, you got that from there? She says, yes, but she's very gamine. And Bowden, sea salt sandwich, Fat base, they're very gamine. 
and uh, a, bit a bit quirky, a bit funky. If you look on those websites, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> now, lastly, romantic. Mm -hmm. So, romantic woman <laughs> just loves being girly. <clears throat> She's often warm and friendly, intuitive and expressive. <clears throat> she just loves the feel of clothes, yeah. the, the flowingness of them, with a soft femininity. She will be perhaps um, attracted to florals, but not necessarily so. But I tell you, she likes embellishments. She likes a bit of bling and a bit of sparkle and coordinating jewelry. She likes to wear makeup and um, hair perhaps in a quite a soft style. She enjoys dressing up and is attracted to jewellery with a sparkle like Swarovski would be like really up there um, in, in, in the, the, the style of jewellery that uh, she'd be looking at. Um, types of uh, places where she might be able to buy clothes, monsoon, calico, parts of Peruna, phase eight, um, simply be, and Laura Ashley uh, was, was, quite, was quite feminine, of course, quite romantic in its style. So those are the five wardrobe personalities. It's been a little bit of a, a whistle-stop tour, but I hope that while I've been talking over the slides that you've been able to spot yourself in one or two of those and we'll be uh, suggesting I'm suggesting that you message in um, during lunchtime especially if there's been a bit of a revelation for you or you can relate to that story you know about going shopping with friends or family when they're trying to force you into something that um, you really would not want to be seen in so now, I'm going to have to sit down for this, and we're going to have a little bit of a chat in the team. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so, team, mm. anyone be brave enough to firstly guess what wardrobe personality I am? I'm actually, I'm a combination of two wardrobe personalities. Mm. Two. Yeah. Right. I'm thinking maybe... I gave you a bit of a clue in one of the descriptions. You did. Oh, you okay. Did. <laughs> Maybe a bit classic, stroke, dramatic. I know. You might be thinking, I'll get the handbag out now. That might be thinking that uh, that is quite dramatic. Um, it's a, it's a, a one that came from Crete, but what I love about it, which is a bit of a clue, is that I like colour matching. Mm -hmm. I like colour coordinating. Mm -hmm. So in this handbag, which is great, what is great about it, it's got all the different colours that are quite on my colour palette. Mm. So I was thrilled to get this because I can take this around and it matches masses of what I have. <laughs> so Sandra's, Sandra's right on, on, on one. Okay. So what do the rest okay. of the team think? Okay, okay. It's not natural, I know that. You're not going to do no. the camping in the wild no. thing. And I never go outside the house without some mascara on. Mm. Even when we're in lockdown and we went on a walk, I'd have my mascara on. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, is it the <clears throat> gamine? Is, is that how you pronounce it? Ooh, well, there might be. That's a little bit funky. Mm. I think the jewellery is a bit, of a, a bit of a clue. Leather skirt, you know. Oh, yeah, leather skirt. Mm. Yes. Or PVC. <laughs> <laughs> Just giving away my secret. That is giving away the secret. <laughs> so, well, I am a classic, mm -hmm. but I'm a combination with a romantic. Oh. So, my uh. mum was Austrian, and so we go to Austria quite a bit. And the Swarovski factory is near Innsbruck. Uh, oh, so, right, that was your And clue, they've got a massive shop uh. in, in Innsbruck. So, yeah, yeah. I am in that Swarovski shop. And off to that Swarovski factory and um, uh, since the, the first time Jeff went out there a couple of a few years ago 
he was dragged to the Slavrovsky factory <laughs> and the shop. <laughs> <laughs> so I love a bit of a bling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're going to go around the team. Ooh, very scary. So <laughs> we're going to ask the team what they think they are and then what the other, oh what, us, what we think they are. Okay. So, okay. Okay, I'm going to go over to oh, Anna first. Oh. Oh. <laughs> go, Anna. Oh. Okay, so I like my makeup. I do like a little bit of bling here and yeah. there. Yeah, she likes a bit of um, bling. But I do like sort of more dainty necklaces and dainty earrings because I feel I'm dainty. Um, so maybe I am a bit of a romantic mixed with a... The G one. <laughs> <Come laughs> on, <laughs> yes. Perhaps Lulu. When you said Lulu, I thought, mm, yes, I could kind of go with that a little bit. I like the hair flicky thing. And, yes. And um, you wore petite. Yeah, and I like to wear my trainers, even though really I'd love to wear heels, but I can't because I've got a fused ankle, so can't get my foot in. Um, so yeah, so I kind of have to make the most of. Flatter shoes, hence a bit of sparkle there. Oh, yeah, she brought another my pair. Boots. I don't know if you can see my one boot, sorry, my boot. Um, so I think that could be me. I'm not sure. I bet my mm. girls are watching going, <laughs> no, mom. <laughs> so I think um, I, haven't, I haven't revealed anything about this to the team. Um, so it's all, it's all new for them oh, as well. Okay, okay. So I think that Anna shows. Um, definite romantic tendencies. So to have, oh, like, romantic. a natural might wear trainers, <laughs> but she would not be having bling on them. And especially on the boots, that is quite romantic. Yes. Uh, she's got a soft hairstyle, she is more a petite frame. And so what she's doing with her jewellery is she's wearing jewellery that complements her frame size. Wow. There you go. So there you if she go. was a the larger right frame size, then I'd be advising uh, women to wear something that's, that's larger, which complements their frame size and equally medium. Mm. So she's wearing uh, jewellery that complements her more petite frame. Ah, and nice. uh, you like well-fitting clothes rather than baggy clothes? Yes. Yeah, I do generally. Yes. Yes. yes I'm yeah. doing... I think so. So, yes, I say... She's got it right, and she's a combination between a gamine and a romantic. Mm. Oh, I quite like logos well on the T-shirts. All well. right, she's, she, she likes logos too. Just to throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I yeah, have what, noticed that. Yeah. Uh, I think it says love is the answer. I love think. is the answer. Yeah. yeah. Keeping it positive. Yeah. See, it's a classic. I wouldn't be having logos. I'd just be like, blended shades. <laughs> bit of sparkle, bit of sparkle in the jumper. Yeah, so, that's yeah. but I'm not logo. So that's that's quite funky and a bit yeah. quirky. I'm thinking that's quirky. So quirky. Brilliant. Thank you, Anna. Yeah. Okay, Catherine. Oh, dun, dun, dun. I'm afraid I I have looked at all of them and I am feel confused because <laughs> 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 I think I said to Anna the other day that. Because I have to get my kids to school in the morning. Usually I'm like, put on a pair of jeans, put on a jumper. I just put a bit of eyeliner on and I'm out the house. I, I don't really have much time to do that kind of stuff. But if I've got the time, then I do. So it's kind of a... <laughs> mm. um, so I suppose I've seen a bit... I suppose a bit of the romantic side, maybe. I don't know. I see some florally things going on, so I don't know, you know. Ah, um, yes. And but I don't know. And then maybe gamine. I'm just, I'm just, I really, I'm not actually sure. When I looked at it, I just, I just thought, oh dear, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, def she's definitely got um, touch of the romantic in a jumper. If you can't see it so well Got at home, it's got sparkle in it. It does have a sparkle. So a true, yes. like a true natural wouldn't be wearing sparkle in her no, jumper. She'd be no. going for, <laughs> um, you know, uh, natural fabrics um, the, or fleeces and um, sweatshirts. And there's a clue, perhaps the, even though Catherine's, you know, busy, she's got to get out to get the children to school. Um, she is paying attention to the mirror and putting a little bit of eyeliner on. <laughs> <Yes>. so, <laughs> hey, 
and it is like the long and she tried and straightened her hair this morning. <laughs> I did. I try to straighten it pretty much every time I wash it, but then my hair does not behave itself. So you know, <laughs> what can you do? I did. I brought my straighteners yes. and like as well yeah, yeah. as lots of other things. Uh, lots, lots of other things. Lots of other things. Yeah, yeah. Makeup. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so she may not feel that she's a dramatic like she wants to turn heads when she goes into the room or do you like to be well coordinated with what you wear? I like to blend. Yeah, so she maybe have a bit of the classic going on there with blending colours with a definite touch of romantic. Yeah. So if yeah, you yeah. can see her shoes. Yeah. Can you see her shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I'll, I'll bring my handbag out. So, so I've got a bit of a Kath Kitson yeah. thing going on the last few years. So, Well, Kath Kitson is very yeah. romantic in her style. She has no. got some like spot designs and things like that, yeah. but floral, birds. Yeah, birds. And well, um, I had a pair of Kath Kitson um, pumps. They were, they were outrageous. I didn't think they were just like raw blue. Hmm. Right, little, with little cream spots on. Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah. And I wore them with jeans and a jacket the first time I met Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, oh, he thought, oh, she's a bit eccentric. Oh, well. With a jacket, a jacket, <laughs> jeans, uh, right, and a t-shirt. Yeah, 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 and they yeah, like, yeah, I thought yeah. they were quite normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, he yeah. got over that. So, um, so I think, yes, she's yeah. possibly a bit of classic, mm. romantic, mm. definitely not a natural. Thank yeah. you, Catherine. Yeah, great. And Very good. now we're going to ask Sandra, the lovely Sandra. Have you got, um, have you got an inkling what you might be? Oh, very dramatic. <laughs> 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 no, I like dramatic stroke classic. I think makeup. I always wear makeup wherever I'm going. If you need to go and pick my grandson up from school, wherever I am, makeup is on. Oh, yes. Definitely. Um, in terms of going to different stores, it's interesting you mention all those stores. I'm yeah. one, I like shopping. So I can be in any one of those stores mm. at any one time thinking, that's just what I want. So there's, for me, I have a mix of stores that I would mm. go in. I, I like Monsoon, but sometimes Marks have some good mm. stuff. And then I would go and find a boutique somewhere if we're on holiday and it's somewhere that is nowhere else and they've got some originals. As Graham will tell you, quite painfully having to wait while I try things on. <laughs> um, I might buy something totally different because it just catches my eye at that time. I love colour. Mm. And I like earrings to match mm. most things that I wear. Yes. Um, mm. Yeah, and I like special occasions where you can just go and have something a bit special to dress up in, and I, and I love that. You know, when we used to go to university balls and things like that in the day, a long time ago, I used to <laughs> love wearing the long dress and all the bits and bobs that went with it. Wow. Yes, that's what I think I am. Thank you, Sandra. Well, I mean, I, obviously I've got to know the team over uh, a number of months, and we've met up, and... Particularly, um, I guess the last couple of times we met up, I've been thinking in the back of my mind what it might be. And, oh dear. Um, I'd say that, that Sandra has struck me as being on the dramatic side. Yeah, and it's good yeah, to have, yeah. it doesn't seem like we've got a natural on the stage, but it's good mm. to have different, mm. different styles. So, so I noticed that she does wear makeup, and she likes wearing makeup, and that... She said she had some shoes that she'd like to wear today that are special shoes. She likes the shoes. She likes the handbags. And um, so that, and the combination, maybe some classic going on, it's about, a, you know, mixing colours. But the necklace she's got on, that's quite dramatic. You know, that's more, that's quite a statement necklace. And yesterday she was wearing, like, a tunic top that was a grey, white, um, and black and combinations that I would say, yes, she's more on the dramatic side. And when she says she likes to dress up, she likes to um, particularly dress up for special occasions, uh, then that would be ringing bells on the, on the dramatic. 
So if like you like to make an entrance. Yeah. You like to make an entrance. Well, I don't think about it in that yeah. sense. It's just so natural. Yes, it's just so natural that she likes making an entrance. So if you had a dress, if you were working somewhere and they're going, oh, we've got a dress down Friday, what would you be thinking? Oh, just jeans and a jumper. Yeah. Hmm. But you wouldn't be, I mean, being a classic, I'm thinking, I, I don't wear, well, I might wear a tracksuit at home where nobody else is there. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I would not be going down the shops in it. Mm -hmm. So, no way. And a onesie. <laughs> what was that sort of thing? I did have a onesie, actually, but... I've I'd got be onesie. onesies it's to the, the supermarket. <laughs> what was that about? I wouldn't be wearing a onesie to the supermarket. So, a dress down Friday, if you're more classic romantic, I mean, things would, you still want to be well coordinated. You still like wearing things that you feel great in. And that's the whole thing about feeling great in what you wear, that it's expressing you. And, um, yeah, so Sandra said she wouldn't be... Do you, put, do you put makeup on to walk the dog? Probably. Yeah, so she wears makeup to walk the dog, which is great. I, I, had, I haven't got it on. When I let the cat out in the morning, I've not got makeup on at that point. <laughs> <laughs> so... It's been great having a chat about <laughs> what wardrobe personalities we are. What was I again? You were romantic, romantic stroke and gamine. And yes, gamine. 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 And, and romantic. Classic. And dramatic. Yeah. Classic. 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 Romantic. Mm. And so, thank you all. And I hope that you've had some fun and discovered more about you. And uh, it is about having fun, but also thinking, yeah, that's why I like to dress the way I do. Mm. And when I work with clients, like I said, it was the, a backdrop, their wardrobe personality. So thinking of, I first got interested in image consulting back in the day of Trini and Susanna. And I was thinking, well, what does it take to train to be an image consultant? And looked it up at that point. Because friends used to say, um, will you come shopping with me? I don't know if they like my advice, but they used to say, come shopping. And then, of course... They were, they were good, but they, they were quite exposing about the women. And then Gok Wan came along, and he was much more encouraging mm. and um, um, was really there for them. But, um, and they did, they did and gave them confidence. But um, none of them took wardrobe personality into account. So... And um, I, might, I might advise a little bit of um, shapewear, but he had them like head to toe in shapewear. I'm thinking, well, do you really want to wear a sort of a pair of spanks underneath your jeans and then like these things up there? I did try it once and it slipped down. So I was thinking, well, I'm not wearing that. It's something that came up yeah. up here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, not doing that again. No. And, um, <laughs> And everybody got, you know, he was great and he did a lot for the profession. But everybody had a belt, everybody had um, high heels. And I think it would be good to even go back and seeing what the women are doing because, you know, would you be doing the school run in a pair of three inch no, heels? No, no, no. Well, perhaps a dramatic might, but. Um, I don't so, see many mums. No. You see the odd mum, but it's quite yeah. rare, really, she to see anyone from, in heels. Work, yeah. yeah, work or presentations, yeah. so something like that. Um, a job where uh, she wants to wear heels. But um, so, so none of them are taking the clients, the, the, the women's wardrobe personalities into account. So when I've uh, been working with clients, that is the backdrop. So I encourage them to perhaps be more adventurous or step out and advise them in clothes that look great for their shape, but also within their wardrobe personalities so they're not feeling stressed about about. Like a, a natural, if I'm trying to put her in dramatic clothing, then um, she wouldn't be having any of it, and vice versa. Mm. So to quote Coco Chanel again, um, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. So uh, I encourage you to chat with people you are with, uh, message um, other friends, and we're looking to receive your messages um, on the Facebook page um, about um, any sort of 
anything, any revelation that you've had or anything you want to comment about and we'll feed back about those after lunch. So I'll finish with this amazing verse. And just to reiterate and remind you that God delights so much in you as his daughter, his beloved daughter. And we'll also be putting up some other slides with hopefully encouraging Bible verses during our lunch break.